Asia Pacific is home to 4.5 billion people, nearly 60% of the world's population. Over the past decade, economic growth in the region has lifted millions out of poverty. Much of the region's growth and poverty reduction is underpinned by a dramatic increase in use of natural resources. It has come with hidden costs, such as the pollution of water and air. The loss of crucial ecosystems an increase in inequalities. Besides, Asia Pacific is one of the most disaster prone regions in the world. All of this has been adversely affecting livelihoods. Today, around 400 million people in Asia Pacific still confront poverty as part of their daily lives. Their vulnerability is exasperated by climate change and environmental degradation. The Poverty Environment Initiative, run jointly by UNDP and UN Environment, PEI, has been working in nine countries in Asia Pacific, engaging ministries of planning, finance, local government, and environment to improve policies, systems, and institutions and achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. To influence development plans, policies, and promote policy coherence between sectors' PEI uses, participatory planning manuals, valuation of ecosystem services, economic assessments, strategic environment assessments, mainstreaming reference groups, five-year plan monitoring framework and indicators, poverty environment accounting framework. Bangladesh, Lao PDR, and Bhutan now have policies and plans that tackle sustainability and poverty. In Bangladesh, the program has trained public planners through a customized curriculum with the National Academy for Planning and Development. In Nepal, through the environmental friendly local governance policy, local bodies can now better plan, budget, and implement activities to respond to urgent environmental problems of poor communities like water scarcity. In Bhutan, cross-sectoral groups have been set up to ensure that activities conducted by the government and local authorities promote environmental sustainability and prioritize the needs of the poorest. In Myanmar, PEI carried out a review of mining policies and legislations. This involved assessing how the protection of water, forests, wildlife, culture, health, and labor rights were affected by mining, pollution, waste management, and climate change. To influence public budgeting and financial management PEI supports, budget codes, climate budget tagging systems, public environmental and climate expenditure and institutional reviews, indicators for intergovernmental fiscal transfers, assessments and tools to improve public revenue management and allocation from natural resources. In the region, Bangladesh and Nepal were some of the first countries to track how much money was being allocated towards climate change. Nepal created a climate budget code. Later on, Indonesia created a budget tagging system and started conducting climate public expenditure reviews to help ministries and provincial governments track budget allocated towards climate change. In Bhutan, the government improved their skills in tracking public spending in environment. In the Philippines, an environment and natural resources data management tool is helping to improve transparency of the use of revenues from natural resources in 210 local governments. In Mongolia, PEI has helped better understand how local governments access and manage revenues from mining and other sources. To improve public management of private investments, PEI supported investment treaty negotiation documents investment strategies, model contracts, investment compliance database, environmental and social safeguards, and stronger EIA-IEE processes, 
investor reporting templates, financial models, cost-benefit analysis, monitoring, and public involvement guidelines. In Lao PDR and Myanmar, PEI is finding solutions to reap the benefits and minimize the negative impacts of foreign direct investments, particularly in natural resources. In Lao PDR, the capacity of the government has increased to manage and monitor investments through tools such as model contracts, safeguards, financial models, reporting templates, and public environment guidelines. From planning, screening, and approving investment proposals and subsequent monitoring, every step presents an opportunity to think green. A concession database was also developed for the Ministry of Planning and Investments to ensure investors comply with social and environmental obligations. In Myanmar, PEI has developed a mining financial model to assess the environmental and social costs and benefits of investment proposals. A multi-stakeholder group is assessing the impacts of mining in Mandalay region. PEI's experience linking poverty to environmental issues have a lot to offer to countries in their efforts to meet the sustainable development goals and ensure no one is left behind.